Hello everyone. So today it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a boring one because that's all I'm going to be showing you is paper. <laughs> I'm here to answer a question I've been asked quite a bit in Paper Crafting with Paul, which is my Facebook group. So if you're not a member, please head over to Facebook, just type in Paper Crafting with Paul and join in. There's loads of inspiration and ideas there and you can see how other people have done my tutorials to get some extra ideas. But what they ask is, what do I print on? As you know, I use a lot of digi kits, especially with nitwits, and I print on this cardstock from the range usually. So this is just a generic one. It's 160 GSM, and you get 100 sheets. So I use this in my album, because it's a lightweight cardstock, goes through my printer nice and easily. And it's four pound for 100 sheets. So that works out as four pence a sheet. And I've got an eco printer, so the printing is cheap as well. So for me, it's quite an economical way of decorating my albums and adding strength to it. So that is my go-to for albums. But I've tried out three more papers for you to see what happens so the range and I'll show you printouts in a bit I've also got some navigator paper now an advantage of this is you can just pop to your local Wilco's here in the UK and they stock it so I only managed to get the 120 GSM one um, this time so I'm going to keep an eye out for the 160 GSM, see if that makes a difference. But this pack cost me £4 for 250 sheets. So that works out at just under 2p a sheet. So that was the cheapest one I've tried. Then I tried some uh, Fabriano, which was a 160 GSM. And I managed to get this on Amazon for thirteen ninety five, And I know I've seen it a lot more expensive than that as well. So the one I've got here works out at 6p a sheet. So that's three times the price of the Navigator. And then the one Nitwits recommends is the Epson Matte Paper Heavyweight. And this is 13, sorry, no, this was 11.50, but it's only 50 sheets. So this was a whopping 23p a sheet. So I've got the cheap, a mid, and the expensive one to try out for you. So I know what you want to see is, what do they print out as? So let me start off with the one from the range. Now this is what it prints out like. So I printed the same paper on each of the sheets to make it fair. So considering this is 4p a sheet for a lightweight cardstock, the print quality is really good. You can see the blues and the pinks and the oranges have really come out. So if you're making albums, that's a good one to go for. And I said that was from the range, just a generic brand. And it was 160 GSM. So let's move on now to our uh, cheaper one. Here we are, here's the Navigator paper. Now the Navigator paper printed pretty much the same as, let me bring the same flower for you as my lightweight cardstock, so I was quite pleased with that. So this paper now, the Navigator, as I said, it was the 120 GSM one, which is perfect for, you'll see my tea bag folding cards, for inserts and things. So yeah, the quality, considering it's only, what, two piece sheet, was really good. Then I compared it to the Fabriano one, which is three times the price at six p a sheet. We turn it the same way. And I'm gonna be honest with you. 
absolutely no difference. Let me find the bigger flower so you can see the yellows. If you can see a difference in the quality, then your eyes are way better than mine. But for three times the price, the quality is the same. So if you're looking for just some cheaper uh, version of the papers, if you're trying to be economical and you want to print out lots, definitely the Navigator paper. And despite this being 120 and the, episode, um, the Fabriano being 160, I can't feel much difference in the weight. There's hardly any difference. So for four p a sheet and six p the sheet, sorry, not even four p. It was two p a sheet and six. Uh, the Navigator one for me. And I said this was the Epson one. This is the one the Nitwits say is really good to print. And I'm not going to lie, it was the best print. The print out here was far more detailed and far more vibrant. I'm trying to show you the pinks in there so you can see how much brighter that yellow is there than there. So it really depends on how much you want to spend. If you're willing to spend more, yes, the quality is a lot better. Look at those blues. That blue is far more vibrant, even more so in real life than on camera. So let's have a look at the yellows. I think I see more in the pinks and the oranges more than anything. You can see the Epson there and the Navigator there. But what we do, you've got to remember as well is this was two pence a sheet and this was 23 pence a sheet. So what would I recommend for day to day for your cards? The Navigator paper is brilliant. Or if you want a bit more sturdiness, go for the range, the generic one. That's the 160 GSM cardstock. But if you have got a special project and you're willing to spend a bit more, you are going to get a far better quality printout using that Epson paper. So the only one I wouldn't pay extra for would have been the Fabriano one, purely because the quality was no better than the ones which were a third of the price. So there we are. I hope that helped. I hope now you've got some ideas on printing and which papers to use. So it'll depend on what your project is and what your budget is. But those were what I tested and those were the results. As I said, I kept it a fair test with all the same paper. And Thanks for watching. If you've got any more questions, please join in uh, Paper Crafting with Paul on Facebook and I'm there to answer your questions or just write in the comments below here. So please, if you found that useful, click that subscribe button here on YouTube and give me the thumbs up. That'll help me a lot. And I'll be back with some projects for you rather than just information maybe pretty soon. So thanks for watching and see you again.